Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Zealous FX and I will be talking about triggers and showing you how to create them and triggers are pretty much awesome versions of hyperlinks and most people would know about hyperlinks where you can link an object to other things or other files outside of the software but triggers work even better I'll show you why first I'll create a trigger so I can insert a square okay anything can be a trigger a picture an object but yes most things within PowerPoint can be a trigger you can right click it and the annoying thing here is that there is no right click trigger menu but there is a hyperlink so most people will use hyperlinks but to find triggers you go into insert action and this is pretty much a trigger and I actually realized that it's now called an action but action settings are triggers which we call them on PowerPoint heaven from here you can hyperlink this object so when I click it it will go to next slide or any of this last slide custom show custom show is very useful but a lot more advanced you can link it to a slide a URL another presentation other files anything so if you use this well you can pretty much create a really effective presentation then you can run a program then you can play a sound at the same time as running a program so as soon as you click it it will play some fancy noise and run a program at the same time and then also you can highlight the click so as soon as you click it the object will highlight and that's the on click triggers actions triggers actions um, now the mouse over they're the exact same options but they work by moving your mouse over the object so if I move my mouse over this object it will use the mouse over trigger so if I mouse over it will go to the next slide so it's all works the exact same but works with mouse overs and this is mainly used if you're trying to create a PowerPoint game but I won't get into that and now I'm just going to show you how hyperlinks work to show you how much awesome our triggers slash action settings are if you right click in hyperlink what look at that you only get browse pages all of this random document stuff you get placed in this document there really isn't that much see I can choose the slides it's pretty much the same as the slide settings but it's really not that awesome yep so that's why triggers are better. Now I'll show you a quick example on how to do a quick quiz. If I scale this down, imagine I had four square, three squares for simplicity, and I had a question. Um, well, let's go easy. What is five times by five? And well, if you're smart enough, you would know it's twenty-five. So I'll put twenty-five in this box. I'll put twenty-six and 20 in here just increase the font size okay what is 5 times 5 that is quite simple for now now I can create a slide that says wrong wrong then I can create a sign that says correct you my goodness you win and that's good and basically I can link the 20 action and mouse click it to the wrong slide so slide 2 link the 26 to also to slide 2 and then I can link the 25 to slide 3 bam and suddenly you've got a really cool no well, it isn't really that cool but you have an interactive quiz which also works very well triggers can also be used for PowerPoint games which are pretty awesome they can be used for interactive presentations just like one of this or you can use them for all sorts of things like linking a presentation to another and everything like that thank you for watching this tutorial see ya